Hello. Uh, subscribe for a really nice compliment. Um, okay, what are we talking about today? Uh, I raised a black dragon. <coughs> now, of course every video I make is about an isekai, so yes, it is an isekai. <laughs> Um, it's a little different, though, because it's a possession situation where her soul is brought to a new world. She just so happens to find a body that doesn't have a soul, and now she's in this world. A little different, and there's some nuance that comes about later in the story that I might not be able to get into because it would be pretty big in terms of spoilers, I guess. Um, <coughs> overall, I would rate this series like an 8. So if you want to get like a pretty solid series, like this is one of those series that I feel like it would be worthwhile to go out of your way to read. <coughs> now I will say, um, this has a conclusion, which means it's okay, but if you cannot read until that conclusion for whatever reason, I would not start this. Because this story has a little bit of a... Okay, so typically in a story, right, there's like this linear progression, and it's all building up towards some satisfying ending, right? And when you have a story where a main character gets brought into a world and they get treated poorly, repeatedly, um, it's really annoying to read. Like, it, it, it is not a fun read. The reason that they have these like annoying points though is for that satisfaction of like an ending point where all of this stuff gets, you know, basically cleared up. And this story is one of those ones where there's like a whole bunch of negatives before you get to that positive. <coughs> so it is like <coughs> it's a bit of a rough read, I will say, until you get to this, you know, ending. So if you don't have the time to read the entire thing, it, it will be a little bit unsatisfying. So I, I'm rating this an 8, but that's from like the perspective of the full picture, not necessarily, <coughs> you know, like an individual piece. <coughs> Typically I try to rate it based on like the beginning, just because I feel like, you know, if you have a bad start, things go poorly, but I also typically read the whole thing and if it's really good by the end, I kind of have to give it some props. And I feel like this one does have a satisfying overall story. It's just a hard beginning. Alright, well, with that out of the way, I'm just going to go into, like, the basics. So, like I said, she's brought into this world as a soul possesses this body. <coughs> it just so happens this person is, like, number one most hated <laughs> person in the world, basically. She's basically like a mobster kind of evil scientist gangster. Just like every terrible thing in one person. Um, but she's just living quietly, like out in the boonies. Uh, thing is, though, she knows this is like the world of a novel. And she knows that she's a problematic character. So the idea is to stay in the boonies to not get in a bad situation, but she ends up getting sent this black dragon who is meant to be with the heroine. And then that kind of brings this guy in, who's the original male lead and in, like an inspector in this world, uh, who has a lot of run-ins with her from the past, right? He's had a lot, so he already has a pretty negative bias toward her, and that's what I'm kind of talking about, those negative early beginnings where she gets a lot of shit <coughs> for this character's actions, which can be a little hard to read, I, I have to say. But the general idea is he's trying to figure out the situation and, you know, dealing with her and everything and trying to figure out what's the deal with this dragon because they're meant to be with the royal family. So the fact that she has it, you know, that throws a wrench into a lot of different things. Um... Of course, she ends up raising the dragon and everything. Um, yeah, when whenever he makes a bond or a, like an imprints on someone, they turn into like a little human. So basically, it's like they have a kid. Um, the dynamic of the story is basically like this guy acts as the dad, she acts as the mother, kind of. That's kind of like the vibe you get from the series. <clears throat> and I would say for the most part the relationship between this character and her are relatively decent because he 
And this isn't really a major spoiler, but he does kind of figure out the whole situation that she's not the real person relatively early on. Um, so we see a lot of like them trying to deal with that and get through things and him, you know, it takes some time for him to get convinced of it and everything. And I would say all of that's played relatively well. It's, it's enjoyable seeing their dynamic, um, him trying to like make sure that what she's saying is correct and them kind of going through this mystery of how she came across this dragon when in reality she shouldn't have. Like, there's, there's not, like, a logical reason as to why she would have found this dragon. Like, it just kind of came up to her randomly. Um, and then it's kind, of, it's kind of like a mystery. Is like, okay, how did she get this dragon? You know, this guy's wondering if she's, you know, she says she is, or I guess who she says she's not. Um, and then, of course, like, her figuring out what's going on with her body and, like, why she's in this body to begin with and... It's basically a mystery of, like, what's happening, right? Um, what are the overall, like, major plot points that I find interesting? Well, I think that her and his dynamic in terms of, like, a relationship is relatively well done. I like it for the most part. I think he's, at points, a little too inhuman in terms of stiffness, but... I think it can be forgiven because it's not like egregious, like it's not super bad, it's just a little bit like, would a human do that? <laughs> like, or is this more of a story kind of telling point of view? I wouldn't know for sure, but um, yeah, I think there are times like that. Um, also in terms of like story dynamics and them going through <coughs> the start of the story, I. I I feel like the first 20 chapters, you get a lot of stuff where, it's, it, to me, it's hard to read because it's just her constantly getting, you know, like, insulted and bullied and accused of things that the original body did and not what she did, and it's like, it, it is a little bit of a hard read at times. Um, like, if you get through that, I think it is a satisfying story, but it is a hard sell for that early part, like, portion. <clears throat> also, like, m the villains are very obvious. Like, we get to meet the villains. Like, I'm not going to go into everything, but, like, it's clear that certain people are bad guys. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't say that, like, the end goal is really obvious, but it, it, but there is, like, you know, clearly you can tell who's going to play a role. Um, I think... <sighs> But I, but, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a little bit like it. Um, what else is there? Well, I guess one of the more interesting things is that at a certain point in the story, and you can skip this if you don't want to hear spoilers or anything. This is probably the only, like, actual spoiler that I'm going to talk about. But I think it's kind of relevant in my rating. She is able to go back to her previous body like her soul is able to leave you know that one body and then return to like her old body but then she's able to come back to that world <coughs> which is kind of interesting it's kind of and it kind of alleviates some of these problems early on where she gets like messed up and bullied by other characters because now she's in her original body and no one has any bias um so I think that's kind of like a good little twist uh, on the storytelling aspect. Like, I haven't really seen that too often. Pretty unique, I would say. I, I haven't seen it in any other story, to my knowledge. Uh, or I mean, I've seen, like, minor moments where, like, they return for a second, but then they have to go right back. But, like, no, she's straight up just, she's in that body now. Which is kind of interesting, and I kind of like that. Um... I think, I mean, I would say that's about it. I, I, I guess the only minor thing other than that would be, that I can't really get into, but <coughs> the ending, like, the, the, the villains have a relatively satisfying conclusion. I, I think it's a very, like, linear story, and it's short and sweet. Like, it gets to the point, which I really appreciate, and I think that the ending is a relatively satisfying conclusion. 
Um, I guess the last major thing would be the SAE. Uh, what is the SAE? Well, it's Story, Art, Enjoyment. Uh, Story-wise, 8. It's pretty good. I think as a total package, it is a very satisfying story. Um, I think it's a little hard at the start to read, but <coughs> it's not necessarily because it's written poorly. It's just because the concept is a little bit hard <coughs> to enjoy. But I think it becomes more satisfying as you read, and the conclusion adds everything up and wraps it all up into one nice package. Um, <coughs> Art-wise, I really like the art. It's really just solid art. It, it kind of gives me that vibe of like if you have sunburnt paper with a sketch on it. <laughs> like it just it's it's a little bit of a different art style compared to what I feel like you normally see. It feels it looks I don't know to me it feels like it is almost drawn with a pencil, but it's not, obviously. <laughs> it, it's just a very satisfying art style, and I also like the designs. Um, I think they're a lot more simplistic, but they also work to express a lot more, and they also feel a lot more stylistic. <clears throat> as far as enjoyment goes, 8, it's really fun. I, I think the start was a little rough, <laughs> and it would probably be a lot higher if the start wasn't as rough for me to read, but... As a total package, it was a very satisfying ending. Um, so, overall rating, 8. And I think that's a pretty fair rating. I mean, it's the story is, as a complete set, a very solid story. Did a very, it, it doesn't extend past where it should. It reaches the conclusion where you would expect it to reach the conclusion. A lot of the story beats at least make some sense. I think there are moments where like maybe the romance is a little bit wonky, but most of it very solid. <clears throat> the art, very good. Uh, also unique. Um, doesn't really look like a lot of other stories that I re like that I read, um, and I, th I think that gives us some props. And then enjoyment-wise, I mean, I, I enjoyed the whole thing. <clears throat> the beginning was a little bit <coughs> of a tough pill to swallow, but I think it came together in the end to be a very satisfying story. So I think an 8 would be pretty fair. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe. Um, maybe you leave another story you want me to read down below. Even if it's a story I've read before, I'll read it again. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you.